and only Sheezy knows He's gonna talk about his friends and his foes And if you've ever done him wrong, you're guaranteed to get exposed He's gonna say things to piss people off And he's not gonna care about the way they feel at all This will be comedy perfectly mixed with music Mixed with content that some would consider abusive He's gonna talk politics and probably share his views From a point of view that differs greatly from the news This dude's a monster from his beard to his feet And he's a pain in the ass and y'all can take it from me But just listen one time, I guarantee y'all know About my man Mike Seas, this is the Tom Gorman Show Gentlemen, my name is Mike Shees, and I DJ and skateboard in my bare feet. Hey, y'all, it's Kelly, and I can't rap or skateboard. Yo, yo, it's Gooch, and I've been tripping all weekend. <laughs> What's up? It's Gentle Jones, you beautiful motherfuckers out there in Radio Land. And I'm Buckwheat, the whitest one you'll ever meet. And I'm just DJ Squared. Let's do some shots! And we are oh, the Tom, Tom Gorman, Gorman Show. Show! Ladies and gentlemen... Um, well, he just introduced himself, so there's no segue, ladies and gentlemen. Gentle Jones is in the MF and building today. He needs no segue. Howdy, all you buttholes. I hope you're feeling fine on this beautiful night. He skateboards and raps in, uh, in shoes, but cooks, cooks maybe maybe not tight too, right? shoes today because you got a broken toe, right? I'm good, man. It ain't nothing but a flesh wound. These things happen. We are going to talk to him. We're going to listen to some jams. Why don't you intro the first one for now? Oh, well, first off, I brought quite a quite a bit of music for y'all tonight to enjoy out there at Radio Land. I brought some of my newest and finest. I've also brought uh, some music from deep in the crates uh, all the way back to the 90s. I've been recording, you know, for a few years here. And um, I think you're going to enjoy them. I, we got a block of four we're going to get right into, let you get a feel for those folks who I haven't had the pleasure of meeting uh, the fine uh, broad spectrum that I operate within. <laughs> Lay back and feel the gentle gym.
country towns round over downs. Route one, my car stopped. Damn, just got it out the shop. Look down, watch stop. Looked up, my heart stopped. I see it shine a light past the corn crop. Circles. Crop circles. Specimen of human Destructive The culture's been corrupted Abducted Or sent back to adjust it They lie to your face behind your back The way they really act And slit your throat and sell your body To the necrophiliacs Crop circles
Chronicle with Photoshop, handlebar, mustache, and monocle. Yup, that same crazy neighbor talking about outer space lasers melting the polar glaciers and everyone's in danger and who's gonna save you at the same time inviting you over to drink wine and watch Frasier. Network enabled, wireless or cabled, use it through the Bluetooth or place it in the cradle. The most incredible alphanumerical, mechanical, digital, electrical, and military grade microprocessors, etc. Think of the bobs, doodad, circuitry, drivers, massive multiplayer, multiplier, empire, mobile app. Flash games, redirected domain names, real time and turn base, Bitcoin, blockchain, customizable, downloadable, expandable, flammable, ammo, remotely programmable with a handheld touch panel, compatible with Silverlight, HTML5, and Flash, and www.myfootinyourass. I am Arnold, and if I'm not getting to the chopper, I'm listening to the Tom Gorman show. No! <laughs> Gentlemen, we have Delaware's finest in the building, Gentle Jones. Yes, yes, Putting together one hell of a podcast mixtape for that ass. This is probably going to be the finest Gentle Jones broadcast ever created in the history of radio. So I hope y'all are tuning in. I see we got some some of my folks out in Delaware, all the way out to Ireland. Down the Dover Downs. Yeah, locked in right now. So, you know, what's up, y'all? We're having a good time. Oh, that's me. That's me. Yeah. I have your instrumentals. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Would you? Yeah, I got the instrumentals. Were you about to go in? You're about to go in. Yeah, yeah. you. I forgot. I forgot that you've been pinched, been squeezing my Charmin over here. Yeah, yeah. We've, you we've got done, some good beats on tap we've there. We've done a couple of shows together. We did his uh, first time. We did a show together was his uh, benefit in AJ's Tavern. What you said had the best sound you've ever heard in your life. Oh, it was fucking fantastic. Actually. That was a I good night, wasn't show. it? I love that show. The audience was there. Like, I looked yeah. them right in the face, and they were there with us. And the sound was great. You killed it. Um, the food is awesome there. I mean, it's yeah. one of the finest places in South Jersey. It is. We uh, we have a lot of fans that go out that way. And we, uh, you know, that was a killer show, man. That Just that lineup, thinking back on that lineup and that big-ass sound system we had in there. Uh, shout out to Junior. Um, you remember Junior, right? That did sound, yeah, yeah. Um, Does he still do that anymore? I he know got to an accident. Estate. He got to a motorcycle oh, yeah. accident. I know that. That's yeah, what, like I know he does real estate a lot now. Like, is that like his main thing now? Yeah, he's I always, think so. He's, he's always doing something with these TVs, like old TVs, like putting like new TVs in them or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something. people's tubes are blowing out still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then the second show was in Pedrick Town, which you did a set at that yeah. show too. That, that was, was my favorite because. I was just sitting there front row and you had cargo shorts, some sandals, a Hawaiian shirt, a big ass like straw hat. Uh, and you the had this hat. and I that was that was hats. the debut of the stash for me. For those of you who don't know, my man uh General Jones rocks a nice mustache. <laughs> My mustache turns two years old this year. Oh, happy birthday. No, terrible twos. Ah, happy birthday to the stash. We're gonna get it. A, we're gonna get it. A pair of rompers. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Rompers. Hey, so hold on. I want to give a shout out to my man Auxiliary Phoenix, who's tuning in right now, all the way from a beautiful country of Ireland. He's my favorite producer. Uh, the first song we started off with was Nightlight with Vast Air. He produced it, put it all together. Uh, that'll be coming out on his next album, uh, which should be launching uh, this summer. And I, I love this guy. I can't speak highly enough about the quality of his craftsmanship and what he brings to the table and it's just one of my favorite dudes and i see him tuned into the chat room right now so what's up my man james top of the morning to everyone much listening love. in ireland much I love appreciate, we appreciate it here at the top yeah of the it's probably top of the evening i'm not exactly sure <laughs> Uh, oh, look at me all geeked out, stuck in the corner like that. <laughs> look at that. You are ear to ear. Look at you. The chat done. room is lit. The chat done, room man. is fucking done, lit right yeah. now. Done, so. Hey, if you will, anybody want to call up and say hi to General Jones, you can call up to 856-345-9988. If you have any questions, you have any memories like I do. First time I ever met this fella, went to go see Sad at X at Mojo 13. Ooh, that right? was is a that great was? show. Yeah, it was I, love Mojo. I loved that one. Oh, man. That was the first time I've ever been in there. And, Mojo 13. And there was a bunch of pipe-hitting motherfuckers in there <laughs> that night. And this guy just comes up on the stage. And you had a shirt on that Chris had on, I think. And you had the, the banner in the back. And I'm looking forward to seeing Sad at X. If you'll, that's a guy from Brand Newbie. I love Brand One of the best voices in hip-hop, if you ask me. 
But then this guy gets up there talking about crop circles, and I'm like, I'm looking around, people are like, eh, and I'm like, what? This shit is amazing, man. And I couldn't wait for this dude to get up out of there, out of the stage and behind his little thing so I could get so me you a could bunch just of jump stickers. jump in and, and get right up in him? Yeah, so I could uh, get some stickers to put illegally in bathroom stalls. You know, it was, it was good stuff, man. But ever since then, man, I've, I've enjoyed this dude, enjoyed this dude's music, and his, he's just a blast to be around, man. Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah, I uh, I remember the night well, man. I had a great time, Sheez. It was really fantastic. Sadat X is incredible. Uh, he came with an ill-ass DJ. The show was flawless. And, uh, yeah, people were bugging out during my set, man. I remember. It fucking came out. They didn't know what to do hitch. with the sound that hit them. I yeah. imagine that happens a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> it's you know, I've been doing yeah. this for years, decades. You know, matter of fact, I, I turn 44 next month. Yeesh. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I've been... You know, damn near every audience, X amount of people, you're introducing yourself to every single time. And, uh, you know, but you want that in your life, though. You want to be not common, you know, especially in, in when you're entertaining, because everyone's heard the same stuff, you know, like, uh, I sh- you shoot them up. I, I'm bad. I got ice. I got cars. Brother, what? You know what I mean? Like, but when you, you talk about getting kicked out of bars, like, you know, rolling weed with your grandma and shit. I mean, you, you know what I mean? Like, you, shit that people have done, too, but they're like, oh, that's not keeping it around. I'm not going to talk about that in my raps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I keep it unhunted, you know? F that, man. You keep it genuine, man. And that's what I like about you. And that's what other people as well like about you. People in Ireland, for F's sake, you know what I mean? Like, people who are keeping it around. Yep. So they ain't known worldwide like you are, you know what I mean? Like... You keep it gully, man. Thank you, Sheez. Thank you. The <laughs> chat room is popping. Look at this last story that popped in right now. That's Auxiliary Phoenix talking right there. My man, yeah, James. Shout out to Auxiliary, man. The hey. highest ollie. You should have seen my ollie, Ox. I did like a two-inch one with some flip-flops on. Don't you gotta, believe you the hype. Don't stop believe lying. Hype. That was a two-millimeter ollie. Top that. Top <laughs> that. People <laughs> listening have no idea what he typed. You got to actually read yeah, yeah, that. You read that, Mike. You, you, that, can't just, you can't just let them Well, that's why you got to go to the chat room, it. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> we got to keep some stuff hidden. <laughs> so you got you to gotta look for it. Yeah, I'll read he it. He said he was popping the hot. <laughs> well, he, we, we got Ox here saying he can't call because he's in Ireland, but the first time he met General Jones here, he was popping the highest ollie he had seen in his life in his kitchen. He was playing a show in the town he was from, and he was in the area. Was that the highest ollie ever in your kitchen or just in general? <laughs> 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 I, I, I recall, I recall vividly, it was the highest ollie he'd ever seen in his entire life. Wow. wow. In or out of a kitchen. In or out, yes. We had to clarify <laughs> on that. <laughs> Definitely the highest ollie in that kitchen. Probably to this day, Probably, I, I hold be, that never been done record for the highest ollie in that kitchen the only one in, in the Carlo, kitchen Ireland. <laughs> Shout out to Cormac, the strains. I mean, I love the whole family. I had a, a rad time out there in Ireland. It was my first international uh, opportunity to go do shows. Uh, I went to a bar called Scrags Alley, and I'm pretty sure I was the first guy to ever do a rap show in that particular part of Ireland, in that particular bar, uh, and it was the well, wildest I, thing. I wouldn't even know if I will call it just a rap show. I'll call it a, you know what I mean? Well, so I'll tell you what. Experience. So a gentle Jones show, but go ahead. I don't want to I was rapping the tits story. off him that night, <laughs> and, you know, so a couple things. Ireland is different, but this particular town is kind of a college town. And it was super popping. It was packed shoulder to shoulder. And, you know, halfway through my set, people were standing on tables, standing on the bar. Uh, they were drinking more than I could drink. Like, I would have probably died. At the, in the be- okay, I'll put it this way. In the beginning of the evening, I got there before the bar really started popping. I actually went in the bathroom. It was clean. I could sit down and poop, all that stuff. <laughs> End of the night, it was Pooping so an entirely covered in vomit. It was like a whole puddle. But it, that means everybody had a lot of fun. It was yeah. one of the finest shows I ever did to this day. Except for the guy that's got to clean up. Well, yeah, but that wasn't my job. I just, you know, got my drink. <laughs> Mop circles. Yeah. Yay. I got my and bounce. <laughs> Mop <Ew>. circles. <laughs> Mop circles. <laughs> So, so this this instrumental that we're hearing right now, this is yours, right? Yeah, that's Crop Circles. Uh, actually, the beat's done by Sife, my man from uh, Southern Delaware. Uh, James did the cuts on that. Auxiliary Phoenix did the cuts on that. Uh, this is one of the most requested songs I've done. It goes over super well live. Uh, it's a true story when I was abducted by aliens in uh, Dover, Delaware. <laughs> Dover, huh? <laughs> 
Continue. Makes sense. Dover, Delaware, yeah, well, of all places. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I like to take artistic license and talk about stuff. You know, Crop Circles is, you know, it's a, it's a rap song. But, um, you know, also it's kind of like... Uh, you, you hear like UFO sightings. It's all like people out in the country. It's like someone is out in a, in a goddamn cornfield. That's the only people that aliens come and talk to. It's yeah. like a farmer and stuff. Nobody's well. out in Times Square getting abducted by a goddamn alien, <laughs> you know? So I'm a fan of old Pulp Fiction and, uh, you know, that, that sort of fantastic science fiction era. Um, yeah, I try to bring that to the music too. Like I keep it real. I, I talk about myself, but I also like to be imaginative and creative. That's fun for me, and I, that's what I like to see in music. So that's what yeah. I like to put on my records, and people respond to it too. You know? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm liking this sound. It Thank sounds you. Very cool. Thank you. Well, I also know that you do. Uh, you know, I've seen seen you do some work with live live instrumentation. I sure And have. Uh, working with some bands and things like that, and even doing like some blues. Uh, serenading some people if I if I do recall um, so tell us a little bit you, you you have a little bit of crooner in you uh, I mean I love to sing and first and foremost I consider myself a singer I've been you know in a number of bands uh, since I was in high school I guess with my first garage bands you know I was in a couple bands we never even had a show we never even played outside the house when I was yeah. in high school uh, but I was in bands I've been in uh, oi bands punk bands uh, ska band uh, you know, I've done shows all over the country, overseas. Where uh, did you grow up, though? Okay, so I grew up in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. I live. Grew up in Wilmington. I live in Price's Corner. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, born in Georgia on an army base, Fort Benning, Georgia. Uh, my family is originally from uh, West Virginia, Lenore, West Virginia, a small coal mine in town on the. Uh, western side of West Virginia, almost to walking distance to the Kentucky border. Nice. Uh, my father grew up there in a house my granddad built, you know, no electricity, no running water. Um, they moved to Delaware, Newark, Delaware, when he was 14. And uh, so, my, you know what, they went to high school. My mom and dad met, uh, you know, in Delaware. You know, I was uh, conceived at the Howard Johnson's off 896 in Newark, <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> In my parents' honeymoon. Ancestry.com. Yeah, yeah. On the honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. On the honeymoon. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, uh, my. <laughs> but, uh, but then my dad was in the Army. He was a Green Beret in the Army. Went two tours in Vietnam. So I, I lived on some uh, military installations, you know, during my early childhood. But by the time I was in high school, you know, we were back in Delaware. I've been in Delaware since then. I still travel. You know, I love to get out and see things. But I think Delaware will find a state in the Union. And yeah. that's no disrespect to New Jersey. Yeah. All my people in South Jersey tuning in right now, I love you dearly. Yeah, you know South Jersey is different than, than other parts of Jersey. We live. I live down in the woods. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. our own separate state down yeah, here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It should be South Jersey and Delaware and then North yeah. Jersey and New York. Yeah, well, see, I live in Price's Corner. I'm just a few miles from the Mason-Dixon line. I think a lot of people don't realize that, you know, you can talk about the North and you can talk about the South, but, you know, everywhere you go, there's the country. You know, every state in the Union somewhere, there's some country. There's somebody growing some beans or some corn. You know, there's some people out there having a bonfire. You know, and out here in southern Jersey... You know, I mean, I love it. I got, I'll go out in the Pine Barrens. I'll fight a Jersey Devil. I'll eat some blueberries. You know, yeah, we we were we spent the weekend out in the pines, and it was it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, devil yeah. not dare come around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pink in Delaware is asking you, General Jones. Hey, General Jones. Who are your top three favorite artists of all time? I'm gonna be honest. Like right now, fuck them guys. This is my show. I just want to get back. To <laughs> I just want to get back to you guys saying nice stuff about me and playing my records. But, there you have but it, I, not, well, damn, <laughs> gentle Jones, gentle I will tell Jones, you, I will Jones. tell you, yeah, downright ungentle Jones. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Where did the gentle part come from? <laughs> It'd be hard for me to nail down three, uh, but I'll say that. Uh, nah, fuck that. Don't I'll, answer that. Question. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Nah, that's fuck fine. that. Just keep rolling, bro. Because yeah, I. Yeah. Oh my god. Anyway, so so questions. being that being that it's you know it seems like you're you, you come from all different kinds of backgrounds and everything like that, and that's what I really dig about your music, man. Is like. You know, just to shower you with some more compliments, it's just it's well rounded, you know, and it's thought out. You're you're down to and and I love what I always tell people is if you go see General Jones, I don't care if it's at a thirteen year old's birthday party or it's at a bar, you're gonna get a General Jones show. And he's gonna do his thing. 
And and that's what we always love about you is wherever we go and see you, man, you do your thing. Thank you. Thank so you. So I hope you just keep doing it, man. And tell us. So you said you got some new stuff come, you know, that you're working on and 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 working with. What's what's popping lately? Okay, so Auxiliary Phoenix. He's he's my partner. We've did a a High Elders album a little over a year ago. That's our crew, the High Elders. Uh, so his his the new High e- Elders. Yeah, his his it's it's because it's like, and that's a play on words. Not to get too into it, but it's like High Let's Elders, like too into like it. the High Priests, <laughs> but also the High Elders is like your drunk uncles. <laughs> oh, I love so, it. Get it. Uh, we we got new music we're working on right now. I got beats in the car. I'm writing to uh, his EP uh, Power Cosmic with Vast Air featuring on that one. That's going to be out this summer. Uh, the new stuff. I mean, we I try to put out new things all the time. Yeah. Uh, I got new skateboards coming out, and I think we should talk about all that. But I honestly think we should play. A few more songs right here for you. You ready people. to play some more music? Let's do it. And, uh, Let's do it. I love DJ, all y'all out DJ there. Squared. We'll be right back with General Jones and uh, Randall Kelly's going to have just a tip, and we're going to have a whole lot more fun on, on uh, Toxic Radio. Four thousand years. Profit from 
the land's roiled, the oceans boiled, volcanoes appear where they never have been, and all living things sing for the king, one man, one sword, one destiny. I king. The elders have gathered to try and remember how the balance was shattered. Forbidden words are whispered, the cattle are scattered before the forces assembled for battle. They've taken the children and will probably kill them. Woo! Stormbringer protects me! Lord of the North Wind! The world suffers his presence! possibilities of 26 dimensions and every logical principle, mineral, chemical, mechanical, and biological process exists within you. So how can we compare the temples, tabernacles, synagogues, mosques, churches, and chapels, pyramids, basilica, monuments, monasteries, hofs, cathedrals, to the vast cosmic expanse, the entirety of everything? A newborn child's first breath, cool rain on thirsty soil, a kiss from warm lips, Bright sun in the morning, fresh food from a tree, someone to love, someone who loves you, a full stomach and a soft seat. Remember this, for it was written on your heart from birth that right now may be our only moment to live. The world is our church, your body is the temple, as Ezekiel eats the sweetest scroll and speaks to the people. God is inside you. God is inside you. God is inside you. I am 
grateful for this moment to walk together and reciprocate. May every action originate in love and every sound strive for harmony. Everything glistening, shivering in a rhythmic memory. Lost in reverie of the heavenly spheres, singing a symphony, revealing miracles, mysteries, the power to scatter my enemies. Voluptuous succubus invites me to lie amongst the buttercups. I taught her how to touch the surface of the sun, huddled, nuffled, and muttering. Wonder if they discovered me hovering comfortably above the slumbering bumblebees. Dreams of Mephistopheles. Thoughts lost atop the trees. When the devil dances with you, you can dance until the tune is through. Revolving upon a bubbling cauldron of lava, boggling a growing throng of swamis and brahmin, while a shaman sips laudanum, speaks a spell in Yugoslavian, summoning all manner of monsters, hobbits, and goblins. The moon gets into the whiskey. A few sips and then he's tipsy. He slips upon a tilted stair and like a meteor crashes through the air. Fireflies circle where the lost souls hide. The river daughter slake my thirst with river water. Kiss the wood nymph's lips she tastes of mandrake. Shift shape and melt into the landscape. Dreams of Mephistopheles. Thoughts lost atop the trees. When the devil dances with you, you dance until the tune is through. Dreams of Mephistopheles. Dreams of Mephistopheles. Dreams of Mephistopheles. Dreams of Mephistopheles. I'm Macho Man Randy Savage, and when I'm not snapping into a Slim Jim, I'm listening to the Tom Gorman Show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a oh, yeah. <laughs> We're getting downright <laughs> reckless wrestling here with Gentle Jones and his broken toe, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness gracious, man. We are... keep talking about my toe like it's a problem. It's not <laughs> oh, a fucking problem, man. man. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. We are, we are just playing the fire in this... Uh, in the studio this evening, man. Yeah, to, to, well, you know, shout out to the speaking. If I was born four thousand five hundred one <laughs> years from now, who would be older or younger? The God inside me had to ask. <laughs> shout out to the chat room. Thank you, Lintra Coastal Water Tau, <laughs> for that wonderfully <laughs> insightful question. Time, no idea. time has lost its effect on me. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> it's lost its effect on. Your mustache, your uh, your entire body, but uh, you know, somebody was talking about the mytho- mytho- mythological. No, you were right. Yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. mythical yeah. shit. Mythological. How do you say that? Myth, myth, many, many, many fables. The mythicalifragilistic <laughs> stuff that was going on in stuff. your lyrics. <laughs> the uh, mythological. So in that last block, uh, yeah, some of that stuff we touched on. Uh, you know, uh, I would say in particular, so the song Stormbringer, which prompted that comment in the chat room. Shout out to the chat room, y'all. Um, so Stormbringer is a actual reference uh, to an old science fiction writer from the pulp days. A guy named Michael Moorcock had a series called Elric. That's a hell of a name. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Michael Morcock. Sorry, I 12. thought Buckwheat was bad. Yeah, he, no. be, he better I will take that off. Yeah, y'all can't see I in the studio. All off. the ladies in here are naked Could right always now. always be worse. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Except for Gucci's mom. Gucci's mom was here. Shout out to Gucci's mama. Uh, so, Thank you. So, so Elric is like uh, this magical being in this Michael Moorcock uh, universe, and Stormbringer is like his powerful s- sword that he has, uh, which has magical powers. It has his own personality. So when I'm uh, saying Stormbringer, bring or protect me i'm i'm literally referencing you know the literature of michael moorcock uh and uh there are some geeks out there who might actually know uh who that is well uh but i I, i'm a big fan of uh you know 
old pulp fiction, science fiction and fantasy, uh, comic books, comic strips from the Depression era. You know, I really dig deep into, you know, that well I, I draw from. Uh, and that, you know, inspires me. You know, I got to look at everything that came before I made records. Like, what what is out there? What right. have people done? You listen to the top 40, it's a bunch of stupid motherfuckers. You really go and see what is art. The bar is super high. Yeah, yeah man. The bar is super I, high. And that's what I, I'm I reaching for that brass ring. I'm not reaching yeah. for the middle. You know, number four is yeah. okay, but I'm reaching for number one. Uh, I, I think... Wow, that was really eloquent. That was very well said. Thank you. I hope we have a clip of that somewhere where you can just walk around and maybe put that on a card or a t-shirt or something. But, uh, you know, your, your music, like you said, it gets deep, man. Like they're like the lyrics and everything like that. And we're always talking about, you know, uh, string theory and where do we come from and galaxies and molecules and things like that and getting heavy into that type of shit. And, uh, I dig that. So I think people dig that about your music as much as they dig just the, the skateboarding, uh, getting thrown out of bar fun shit. You know what I mean? And kind of taking it and pulling them back and forth and, and everywhere so um are you gonna be playing any shows coming up you got anything uh, live yeah, coming up uh, yeah as a matter of fact um so uh my my good folks out at the red lake reservation in minnesota the chippewa where they call themselves ojibwe it's a native american tribe i have great friends out there uh they've invited me out to their block party uh july 29th they're gonna fly me out there nice. having a skateboard cool. contest uh and a rap show I'm going to oh, host. Wow. Uh, I've actually, uh, and, and shout out to the Red Lake Nation, by the way, in Ojibwe. Uh, some of my best, oldest friends are there. And, and for y'all who don't know about Red Lake uh, and the Chippewa out there, I mean, there's some big Indians out there in Minnesota. These are some big, tough, wonderful, loving, brilliant people. Uh, and and we've been friends for such a long time. Year before last, they so invited like me a, out. This is like a fucking tribe. Like, it's a Native American like a Native tribe. Native American tribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and they th just have a whole skateboard contest. They have a uh, they have a, a skate park on the Red Lake Reservation. Uh, they got a bunch of rad uh, folks out there. Garlic Brown, uh, Res Rap, Baby Shell. I mean, they got a lot of talent. Uh, but also, these are my folks. These are my people. Uh, the year before last, they flew me out there. We did a tour. Uh, Fargo. Um, yeah, it was uh, in Minneapolis. Uh, it was we in did, the mix with uh, the Pedrick Town when you was you was busy. That yeah, the year. Super Wizard Star Tour. I went out there with Mr. Gene Pool, Los Nativos. Um, it was incredible, man. It was one of the best tours I ever did. Uh, and I'll tell you what, uh, every show. I mean, we had we had Baby Shell. Um, we had Mr. Gene Pool ripping it down. Uh, of course, I did my thing. Uh, we had MC Edge, uh, and every show. It was so many Indians dancing, it rained for a month. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's awesome. No, I love them dudes, and they're bringing me back out there, so that's coming up soon. Uh, I'm sure I'm doing a show with Gooch sometime. I just got to wait and see when he's ready to put me on. Yeah, that's going to be I said, we got to do something. I'm trying to ride on your coattails, my man. We got to do something. <laughs> we got to do, do something, like, outrageous. Yeah, and we're know? doing this right now. Yeah, As a definitely. matter of fact, this is live and fucking direct to all those people out there, radio <laughs> I mean, people land. people out there we're broadcasting. in the fucking atmosphere and shit. I mean, we can send this. This could be the fucking thing that they send out to outer space to communicate with aliens one day. Just bottle up this show and fucking kick it out there to fucking space. Fuck yeah, put it on the nation. all about and, and space and shit. And just it's all like, up in this, that. This is this all is what out there. this is what all cyber this is what yep. life is about. That's right. Yep, that's it, man. I'll tell you, we were partying at this fucking festival this weekend and it was uh there was some wild people there, man. Like so Shout out to the main squeeze, one of the best damn bands I've ever seen in my MF yeah. in life. We've been, oh my we've been God. pumping them hard. They, yeah, this was, band was, they, they was outrageous, man. They were playing like double synths and shit like that. It was like it was like if Bruno Mars and Craig Robinson made a love child together. That's the same. It's just like that. I swear to God. It was, this yeah. motherfucker came out in a fucking kimono. Silk this robe. Big, this heavy kimono, set black man. guy and he just like Tore it was up. crushing. I've never seen anything like it at a hippie festival before. Absolutely amazing I've never set. seen anything like it. I mean, yeah. I've been watching their YouTube clips for the past couple of days and I've been in all of them. And I've been to a lot of shows. Like They had people headbanging. Yeah. <laughs> they did and Tears for Fears, everybody want to rule the world. They did it so good that it wasn't even Tears for Fears song anymore. Like it yeah. was, it, they, they made it their own. And I started crying 
Because it would have got the second. Oh, yeah. Shit. I, yeah, cry. I don't give a shit. I'll admit I love some tears for fears too, <laughs> man. I love some tears for I cried exactly <laughs> like that. Exactly Dude. how I <laughs> Dude, it was it was it was wild. We had an experience out there, though, man. Yeah. It was it was it was religious for and, sure. But speaking of that, what I'm saying is like, I think it's cool to put together these shows where you know just showcases different talent that's that's really different. So it's not like I don't like going to blues shows and seeing seven different blues bands at a blues right. thing. You know, right. I mean that could be cool, I guess. You know, and teach their own, but. I like when we put stuff together that's really different, where we showcase a DJ, an acoustic songwriter, uh, someone who raps like yourself, and then maybe a blues band or a jam band and a reggae band or something like that and have some different events going on. I'll tell you what, Gooch, you know, that's what my record collection looks like. You know, I don't listen to a genre. That's right. I know know that about it. Two kinds of music, good and bad. Exactly. You know, uh, I listen to everything from old, uh, old time country music all the way to the brand new new. And I think you know the generation now here at least in the united states and and probably most of the world they listen to everything too they're exposed to it and they love it all it's either good or it's bad uh i talked to a record store owner in delaware many years ago this guy named bert had bert's records out in conquer pike and uh, main street in newark and uh, i asked him how come you have everything split up into like this is your rock and roll section this is your blues section you know you got your r&b section why don't you just alphabetize your whole motherfucking store and make it easier and he was like nah I, the reason we have these genres is because people want to belong to something people want to be a part of something but here we are this is probably 20 years ago i talked to him both his record stores is closed and itunes is popping and that's a dictionary you used to get up in that motherfucker. Yeah. So, you know, it's like maybe this is the type of time I've always been on, but I'm glad that we are where we are now uh, with music and culture uh, because I think we've come a long way. And I listen to it all. I, like I said, I draw yeah. deep from the well. I, I, you can, And if you don't believe it, you can go on YouTube and watch it because you can – I think I watched a video or something, or maybe it was a Facebook Live of you just sitting there spinning old time, old country records and smoking a joint or drinking a bottle mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. Oh, was that a YouTube video or That's a Facebook true. Live video? Both. I put it everywhere, oh. but yeah, you saw it. That was me. That was me. <laughs> that was me on a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were actually old seventy eights, like before vinyl. They were seventy eights, like great. Vitrola era. Yeah, yeah. They it turned out. I, I was like, listen to them, like glued, like holy shit, listen to this music. Yo, so songwriting is is as old as people you know the oral tradition uh i mean this is something that like people kind of don't think like a hundred years ago motherfuckers could really do it you know before there was recording before there was internet there was people in every town in america who could really flex it and really show the thing and yep. so I, I learned from all of them i soak it all in yep and uh yeah i love the old music and the new music too you know of, of all types so you know? Yeah, Mike and I looked at each other when that Tears for Fears guitar oh, lick started. Yeah. Boo, doo, 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 doo. And we just like, what the fuck they is going it. on? They, just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they didn't, you know, it's a corny 80s song. And they, they did not, there was nothing corny about it, man. The guy singing. Mike, talking to the mic. Yeah, talking to the mic. I talk so loud that I don't need the mic because I talk so loud. Hey, listen. Good, good. Since I'm shitting the bed. <laughs> we, got, we got the people in the chat room here asking for uh, some, some new music. So let's play a few yeah, more let's tracks here for us. Let's more music. Moving. Apparently we got a scout from Music Fest on right now. So give him a listen. Fuck yeah. I could show you how to do it. First, can't see a pointless. First of all, got the ball. Tell him to stop pointing. Woo! These dudes be going here. But right now, they baking. Ask me why I love. I can hear them oinking. It's always hot. Always cold. That's why I grind for my mind. Like I'm always broke. My freshness is out of habit. You should try it. It works. Your flow is vaginal. And it's dying to squirt. Ain't no need to front. I've been a giant Birth. So the small things I went and let dry in the earth, yeah. <laughs> you got to learn today. Fast car, Tracy Chapman, I died that way. You know, man, the sentiment, ladies and gentlemen, fail to get rid of the Bronco Telephone. Ain't no middleman touching my dividends. Thirst of a million filigans, high off the hill again, sparkling brilliant. Talking and brilliant, heckling, giggling, darts to your ligaments, charging your sentiment, 
overwhelming to narrow down idiots. Bonafide, glorified, you're regular like Mordecai. Get mortified right before your eyes, boy. You just best run for your life. Who do you, who do you think you are? Joan of Arc, Rosa Parks, Napoleon Bonaparte. I'm throwing darts, surging in your open heart. Here's a thought, maybe you should turn your computer off, 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 know your part, surely you don't know the art, you just hold apart, boy, if you even bust a fart, have a man of cinnamon, ladies and gentlemen, fail to get rid of the brain, don't tell a friend, ain't no middleman touching my dividends, thirst of a million filligans, hop the hill again, sparkling and brilliant, sparkling brilliant, heckling, giggling, dark to your ligaments, charging your sentiment, Dover to Wilmington, never now, idiots, murder, kill, hundreds, murder, kill, hundreds, Murder kill hundreds. Murder kill hundreds. Murder kill hundreds. Murder kill hundreds. The cleaners. C boy stands holding our leaners with a mean demeanor. Not trying to work, we all will linger. Give my boss the middle finger. Fuck you, it's a dirty job. The cleaners. What? The cleaners. My work is never done. I knock the dust off with a dust mop or dust cloth. Supposed to polish these bosses, but since my boss is in the office and he don't know what's happening, man, I'm napping in these closets. Yo, wake up, the boss is coming in to work late, fucked up, and I'm stumbling on my hip. I got no keys to the Colombian. Gotta pop two perks to deal with this boss's mess. Don't get a new job. Nah, I never pass the peak test. And when I'm really stressed, I drop a couple of hits. Sit around and zone out and watch the secretary's tits. Herbert. I drink so much, kid, they call me a fish. Why? Working this job, man. I'll, I'll never, never be, be rich. rich. I work with alcoholics, always on the job smash. The recycle aluminum cans for extra cash. While I'm stripping and waxing, I dream of being on stage rapping, drinking coke and captains, or in a hot movie acting with Julia Roberts. Instead, I'm cleaning out dirty lockers, yeah. covered with gum, ink, and hawkers, piss, shit, and lugas. That's how I rationalize boosting to computers. I work with scumbags and losers that's dishonest. So I go Room the room with a rag and a can of polish Looking for loose change, book bags, purses, and wallets Literally clean out the room and leave with fat pockets Um, there's vomit on the carpet Oh, miss, stop you tripping The name of the position is a custodial technician And we ain't doing shit if it ain't in the job description Yo, they want the bones to glisten Pay attention when you're pissing Yes, all go quit pissing on the stall walls If I catch you, I'ma spray Lysol on your balls The cleaners C-boy stands holding our wieners with a mean demeanor, not trying to work, we all malinger. Give my boss the middle finger. Fuck you, it's a dirty job. The cleaners. What? The cleaners. I'm the eyes and ears of this institution. I know all the secrets. People within the offices having sex, and I peeped it. If you throw some the nice away, I just might keep it. Dumpster diver, prime writer, steady wiping up saliva. Take it one day at a time, like Schneider. Man, man, I can't wait till it's time when I retire. Woo! Call me a janitor. Care. I ain't got no shame, nope, cause so was Bob Marley and Kurt Cobain, Two it's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it, yep. plus I got a lot of free time to write my music, my boss is always yelling, John, sweeping my, but all I do is find ways to beat the clock, <laughs> I take naps, hide and read the source, yeah I do a little work, of course, right. see, I gotta change light bulbs and stock the bathrooms, so why the hell you think I'm always in a bad mood? Beats working fast food like, can I take your order for six and a quarter of being a male sorter? Up in the back in the snack room, yo, I was stealing tasty cakes. I had the fat back too. Word? Fuck this, I'd rather be home sleeping. But my boss got me out here freezing and I'm sweeping. So you think this broom is getting pushed? I brought a brunt of the kush. Fuck that, you're about to get mushed if you tell the boss. I don't care about job loss. But you do, cause you're fucking soft. Get lost. The boss thinks we're lazy. The secretary thinks we're crazy. I don't care so long as someone pays me. Then I'm Swayze on Wednesday. I'll call up on a sick day. And stay home and get blazed and get paid.
game Cause Tuesday had me scared as hell Almost got caught with pot By the boss off in the stairwell All smoked up Afraid I might get rolled up Oh, hey, my supervisor So I slashed two of his tires Brick, screw him I'm in the union So I'm not getting fired When these buildings is deserted We clean them with green detergents By bringing the dirt to surface And manifesting the purpose through service They treat us like jerks Man, is it worth it? When we lurking in the office Got the workers acting nervous It's a cleaner C-boy stands holding our wieners With a mean demeanor Not trying to work We all malinger Give my boss the middle finger Fuck you the cleaners Who ate my what? sandwich? The cleaners Boom, 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 boom Gonna shoot you right down all for your feet While we're chilling at the club just the other night Looking good, feeling alright Girl looking at me, winking her eye Her husband sitting right beside About two miles tall, about a half mile wide I had a show to do, so I ain't paying no mind I just up on stage, grab the mic, say a whole lot of rhymes in the style y'all like. Wow, four, five hundred people feeling the vibe, and I was high. I ain't gonna lie, I got my props, got paid, everything was fine till old girl step up from behind. I said, Look, I got a wife, I'm not that type of guy. Her husband watching, blow a kiss, waking his eye. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna shoot you right down. All for your feet Boom, boom, boom Boom, 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 boom Gonna shoot you right down All for your feet Dusty. Allow me to introduce, ladies and gentlemen, the meanest son of a two-drink minimum. Frontier renegade, cool as a tall glass lemonade. Swing your partner around the promenade while I spin a yard of a boy born on a farm that grew human arms. That's how he came up so handy. Well-dressed, but not a dandy. Gunplay uncanny. Killed a bear on his first birthday. Shoot straight in an earthquake and sing a tone. Eating snake meat, fried raccoon under the moon. Howling like a coyote, how coyote. The Pawnee chief gave him my ancient Aztec amulet. The battle he's never been tested yet. Gamble with the devil who lost the man. Run through rain drops and not get wet. He jumped the Pecos, roused the tornadoes. Once Cody Lazo closed a hole of a burning volcano and everybody was like, right on. They just had their mind blown by a cowboy sprinkled with twinkle and rhinestone. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot you right down We're all for your feet Boom, boom, boom Boom, 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 boom Gonna shoot you right down We're all for your feet Boom, boom, boom Listen to the Tom Gorman show. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I hacked my mama head off with a sling blade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Promoting all yeah. kinds of gratuitous violence and, and nasty talk up Fuck in here yeah. with General Jones, we got ladies the and gentlemen. The she's towel getting adjusted just right. <laughs> That's right, for my sweaty brow. What's up, all you buttholes? I want to give a shout out to all the fine people out there. In the chat room, the chat room is popping. I think we've, matter of fact, we just got a job. I think we just got a gig at a festival through the chat room. Let's do it. So shout Let's out to the it. chat room. We're fucking stoked on this. Spectacular. Yeah. Let's go. Where's this gig at? Let's go. I don't know, play. but it looks fun, and they have the yeah. live art creation thing, and I'm in. Well, cool. I'm doing. It's that. in uh, Plymouth Meeting. Oh, that's not All far. Right. Let's no. do it. 
I'll play guitar and Gentle Jones will rap and 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 Cheesy will do kick flips. Yeah, he'll do kick flips. <laughs> and then Kelly will do just the tip. Yes. That's that's the hell of a segue. Oh, you yeah. can do that right now. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, Random Kelly with just the tip. Okay, guys, this week's tip is more of a challenge. Um, so and it kind of it kind of fits with this crowd that's here right now. Uh, so I was thinking. And a lot of times as we grow up and become adults, we lose sight of some things that we had. Turn that down a little bit. Um, Some things that we, unless it's just me, I can't hear myself. No, it's. No, no, we want want people to feel feel the tip. Yes. (laughs) Yikes. I love it. Anyway, so as we grow up, we lose some of the things that we did as children that made us happy and that we really loved, like music or playing soccer or your favorite video game or anything like that. It's called growing up, but it can also lead to us being less happy because we think about, oh, remember when I used to do band in high school and it was so much fun, blah, blah, blah. So what I want everybody to do is to reach back into your childhood, find something that made you happy back then and give it another try. Try it again, such as Michael was on a skateboard in the parking lot earlier tonight. Um, and like I said, whether it be drawing or coloring or anything like that, try it. We have two weeks. We're not going to be here next week because of Memorial Day. So I think we're back in June, like June the 5th. We're back. So by then, I hope to have some audio and some video of some stuff for you guys of me going back to my childhood. So I expect to hear about what everyone else has done in this room. Also, people we will participate. Yes, it's going out to you. So if you did something when you were a kid that you loved, let's try to do it again and make ourselves happy. Just a tip, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, give it up for Randall yeah, Kelly. Yeah, all right. All right. Shout out to all the great sponsors out there that have sponsored us too. Uh, Zogies. Mythic it, Tattoo. Mythic Pittman, Tattoo. New Pittman, New Jersey. Cuckoo's Nest. The Music Emotion Foundation. Ariel Monroe. Massage. We've had a lot of people helping us out. Pay the bills. Pay the electric and all that good shit. You beautiful Ladies motherfuckers. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go to Mythic Tattoo and you mention the show and you can uh, get uh, you get your weenus pierced for 50% off, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> We're thank setting you. trends over the Tom Gorman show. I can't wait to see you with your weenus pierced. Mike. Yeah. That's We're going to get Mike's tramp stamp filled in, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's got a tramp stamp. No, I had a tramp stamp, but thanks to Mythic Tattoo, they covered it up. Now with I a giant have, target. Now I just have a big-ass <laughs> black tattoo now. <laughs> I'm being for real. I totally believe. I'm being Yo, for real too, guys. She's as real as it gets. Right now, he got his shoes off. He got uh-huh. fucking toenails like a pterodactyl, and it smells like a bag full that's, of assholes in that's here. That's right. No. Oh, come on. I keep my dogs on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should shorten that leash. Hey, you want to you introduce your friend here, Oh, yeah. General I want to give a shout out to my man, Chris Maurer. We call him Murr, my homie from right up the way. I've known him uh, since like motherfucking 1991 or something like that. Come on up here and say say yeah. hello to all these say folks out here at Radio Land. I don't yeah. think those headphones work, my fucking. No, I don't think they. It don't fucking matter. You, just can, still you can still hear. Hey, you can yeah, still I can talk. Hear everybody, fine. Yeah, it was uh, roughly ninety one, early early nineties. That's for sure. Uh, skating in Wilmington, Delaware, at Henry's um, skate shop, where Bill was pretty much like the like the skate man. Hooked everybody up with stuff. You go in there, you want a jacket, he'll get you the discount. You know, you want decks, you want wheels, he'll get you the discount. You tell it on me. No. So, <laughs> well, and that shop does not exist that anymore. Shop does not exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> true story. But we skated. Fucking but we skated true. like a motherfucker. But we still reason. friends. True. But we skated like a motherfucker. <laughs> Actually. Well, I, I hate throwing it out there like this, but the one time I do remember when it was the end of uh, it all. See, here he goes looking back at everybody now because he knows I'm about to tattletale on him. Get, get him. He go basically, ahead. everybody in the shop kind of just got freebies. He just went on a free for all with the uh, owner, kind of got in an argument. And what? It, I paid for my board. It was. Yeah, it went. It went crazy. Everybody just. I got a. I got a nice dead end jacket. Sunoco looking jacket. I wish I still had. I wish I still had. Yes! Yeah! Oh, it, it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Dead End, by the way. Uh, my OG, Vinny Rafa. I hope he's tuning in. You yeah. know, Dead End Skateboards. Uh, Great name for 
place, huh? Dead end. Yeah, I'm making the decks now. Y'all have probably seen that if y'all keep in touch yeah. with me. Awesome. Uh, you know, yeah, I've been man. doing all that for a few years now. Dead end actually awesome. been around since 1987. Started in New York, 1987. This is our 30 year anniversary of Dead End. I got on the Dead End skate team in the end of 91, early 92. Uh, the first time I ever rode in a limo was for Dead End. You know, rode to the airport, flew out to San Diego to the trade show. Um, so now it's my turn to give back, you know, and I put the decks together. Uh, I picked the art. I picked the shapes. And I, I bought send, one. I send them out to the team. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Bought, I bought the red one that looked like the Van Halen. That's the Gentle Jones, John. My wife helped me with that. Yeah, she actually helped I me do that. I love that. I haven't, hung yeah, it, the I, I haven't hung it up yet, but I don't I, Thank it's, you. it's sitting in the corner. I haven't hung it up yet. I got to hang it up. I can't do it physically, but I got to get, get Sheez to do it. Yeah, I'll put he, it on the highest. They're yeah, very, very rare, so I'm going to come to your house and steal that motherfucker <laughs> no. and sell well, it again. Damn Indian giver. <laughs> it, it, it all, it, well, I'm like one of those friends that just, uh, I'm one of those friends that just gives my shit, you know, like I, if I'm, so Buckwheat was talking one day, hey, I, you know, I, I want to go skate and this like that. I was like, well, I got this deck. And I'm like, I was going to hang it up. It's a hanger. It's and, a keeper. Yeah, yeah, and so I'm glad I didn't give it to him. It's a keeper. Yeah, no, Very rare. Yeah, we were like, yeah nah, and to his credit, man. even though he's a skater, to his credit. Good man. He was like, I'm going to go get a piece of shit longboard to ride from your, because he was trying to just get something to ride from his house to my house. Okay. He lives around the you corner. You holler me if you need a rider. That's, not yeah. a, that's a keeper. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad I didn't give that board up because I love the way. Thank you. Well, shout out to Chris for for helping out with the design because that's amazing that's an amazing fucking design also bobby brown uh with the lion head that's my man out of delaware he does a lot of skateboard graphics for all type of people bobby you know brown? yeah, bobby brown's my homie oh yeah yeah hell yeah yeah those are those are both my homies me and bobby we go to jake's burger we go to jake's burger get grab that burger during the work week <laughs> he fucking slings the ink. He's a super badass. Yeah, hell yeah. He's a hell of an artist. He's a really nice guy. I agree. I hope everybody can hear you because you say real nice fucking stuff about my homie right now. Is it working now? It is. Is it working? Yeah. Check oh, one, yeah. two. Yeah. Bobby Brown is the man, so yeah. I hope he's listening. Uh, this is Buckwheat. I used to skate with him way back when in like 2000 and what 10 in fuck Delaware yeah. when I was on the when I was on the air base out there yeah fuck nice. yeah Dover yeah. Air Force Base used yeah, to man. work there myself I was an air traffic controller on no Dover shit. Air Force Base I, I was a 2T2 on the line just holy like, shit yeah. yeah I worked in the RAPCON the radar yeah. approach control yeah man you were right on the, I was like right, right below you pretty much all those years yeah that's in the good in that small world man it's a small world, but you, we're in Jersey. We're talking about Delaware. Yeah. I mean, that's the that's the, yeah. the rest of the world is real big. It's just real small around here. <laughs> yeah, 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 good yeah. point. <laughs> Touche. Touche. That's a good point, man. That's, that's a great awesome. point. Yeah, yeah, because like you know, you're known worldwide, and to me, you're Bill fucking Farrell. It's true. <laughs> true, story. Like, true story. Like, I'm like, this is my fuck. You know, this is my homie. I'm like, yo, come do the radio show. Where Plus. other motherfuckers, they're probably like. They'd love to have you on a radio show, and I—I I mean, I love having you on my radio show. But I'm just saying, it's just a, for me. I just. What are you trying to say, Gooch? We're blessed. We're blessed. Yeah, we're blessed. We're I love blessed. you, Gooch. We're this blessed. is a fantastic night right here. Yeah, we're having Certainly. fun. We're drinking whiskey. We're smoking weed. Well, I all the weed. whiskey got drank. <laughs> by the way, all the whiskey got drank. And let me tell you all this story. Listen, so well, that's a good thing. So listen, I did this show a little while back, and it's the end of the night. It's last call, and there's this dude on the floor, hammered, like super drunk. Hammer. So listen, I, 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 you know, I helped the guy up, you know, you know, say, let, let me help you out. Let me take you home. You know, um, I walk him to the car on the way to the car. He falls down three times. I get him in the car. I ask him, you know, what's your address? Where's your house? We drive to his house. You know, I help him out of the car, walk him to the door on the way to the door. He falls down three more times. <laughs> I get to the door. I ring the doorbell. The wife answers. And I say, here's your husband. She goes, where's his wheelchair? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Dang it! <laughs> Didn't see that one. Ladies coming. and gentlemen, gen <laughs> gentle Jones. <laughs> bang bang! Oh. <laughs> Killing it up in here. Oh my goodness! Christ. Oh. Shout out to Jake's Burgers. Just yeah, Jake's just Jake's fucking signed Jake's in on the chat burgers. room. Jesus fucking Christ! Love Shout Jake's. out to Cashmere. Yeah. Shout out to my cousin Damien, DJ Booger. That's a, the chat room is fucking super lit, man. Yeah, I mean, we're almost at Jake's the burgers. end here. <laughs> oh, man. Now, if we did this show on Friday, we'd have the farmer's market in the chat room. Yeah. <laughs> did this show on Friday, I'd be at the farmer's market. Yeah. 
Alex's seafood with that good ice. I go to the dirt mall every weekend. I get records, magazines. Jack's nuts. <laughs> Jack's nuts and candy. And <laughs> nuts. I've seen, I've seen cheese with all kind of concoctions like that. Yes. Cheese. Oh, man, yes. What's your shirt say? Ray Donovan for president. Fuck I yeah, I love the Ray Donovan show. Brilliant I'm sorry, writing, I thought that's by what the way. I, said. I would love with that shit. Yeah, you know he's he's he could be a good president. He cheats on his wife a lot, like good presidents do. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all want to hear a couple more songs? Yeah, let's get oh, into absolutely. some more General Jones okay. songs. We got some more music to uh, to fill the people's ears with. Boogity 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 man, ladies and gentlemen, Gentle Jones on the Tom Gorman get it, show. Get it popping in the chat room. Uh, Boogie uh, man. Uh, If you don't know the math, then you don't know the half, and you don't walk the path. You want to stop and talk and get the autograph. Put it on your Instagram, now Google is your middle man. Gentle Jones, the type of gentleman that really don't give a damn. Walk a crooked mile with a crooked man across a crooked land. Looking for the boogeyman. So now I am the boogeyman. Outside your house looking in Look at him Disappear into the thin Air Look again He's there Israelians The people don't 
don't talk about it. They see a body in the street, and they walk around it. Police car ride up, and they park around it. Draw the line of chalk around it. I'm just trying to share my thoughts about it. The world gone cold. I know a little bit of hell, just a piece of the road. We young folks got guns, and grown folks stay home. For a little bit of gold, they're selling their soul. The lucky ones don't get number old. A hundred parts per million. Pollution, the final solution. Don't drink the water, there's some stuff in it. I don't drink the water, fish fuck in it. What's in the tap water? in the tap water see this h2o could help you grow some creature features some extra toes can't dip your feet the germs will attack you there's blood in the water you can ask dave matthews don't breathe it when it turns into fog you'll be popping out babies look like kermit the frog holy water out the tap while your pastor's gone going for eye fishing no glasses on go ahead and take a swim it's harmless kid although your skin will probably glow from the arsenic because i am sick not be sipping on this mercury getting wetted hella mad that they ain't heard of me smoke on the water fire in the sky the hopes to put it out they tainted your supply the water burns your eyes the stench and the taste steady slurping fertilizer and medical waste drink up what's in the tap water in the tap water Yeah. 
My name is Borat. I like the sex. I make the sexy time on the Tom Gorman show. Very nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Rock and roll. All right. Hey. Bring them uh. strong with the rock and roll, Gentle Jones. Hey, listen, Cheese and Gooch. First, uh, you know, before we get any further, I just want to thank you guys for having me out here, man. This is such a lovely time. It's a wonderful situation you have, and I love you both. You know, hey, you both brilliant, beautiful Bye, motherfuckers, and it's a blessing to be right here with you on the air. And I want to give a shout out to all the people that have been tuned in, folks talking shit in the chat room. I mean, we've been cracking up over here. Uh, some of the lines. Some amazing shit to say. We yep. even got aliens in there. I yep. see them. And someone, I just got to read one of the lines. Well, I can't read it anymore, but it was something to the effect. Right. Something to the effect of they wanted to describe what General Jones sounded like. And, they, and they said they couldn't. I want to say you sound like someone, but I can't. You sound like underground. Respect. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. So that was a Thanks, nice that was a nice comment from Brian and uh just the, the chat room's been popping tonight, so we appreciate it. My cousin uh Damien trolling up in the motherfucking chat room right motherfucking now. Motherfucking trolls. for the course. <laughs> Don't click on none of them links, y'all. Yeah. Y'all about to get goat seed yeah. up in this yeah. motherfucker. One of them is uh dance with the Pope, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you about to get lemon partied up in here. Shout oh out to Damien. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a blue waffle in there? Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you flagged, Sheezy. You flagged. I'm flagged oh, my own show. Flagged from your own show. <laughs> so we got, uh, what's everybody got going on coming up? Uh, I know, Kelly, you got your book coming out, right? And, uh, I do. Um, the manuscript just went to, I got it for the final time to go over it and then sign off on it, and it is now headed to the printer people which means it's going to be a real life thing yes that's nicely done that is nicely done. a beautiful thing fuck yeah she's got a she's got a book Woo! 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 <laughs> talk so about awesome. haunted houses and ghosts yes and haunted goblins. places and <laughs> goblins Spooky. haunted places in salem gloucester and cumberland county and the tentative release date is august the 28th so be all ready right. to party yeah, and then one of them, you can have him open up with all his eerie songs. Yes! <laughs> the Delaware got some spooky history, too. We got the cult house. Yeah. We got Zubiland just over the border right there. Y'all, If y'all don't know about Delaware, we got a lot going on all the way down. Yeah. You know? It's small, but it's spooky. Well, it's yeah. cool because, you know, like Philly, Delaware, and like Jersey, we just kind of all... You know, everybody is kind of mingling with each other. You know, I work with a lot of people in, in Delaware. I've played with, in Newark a lot growing up um, when I was in my band, 61 North. And so, you know, I know there's just a strong musical scene in Delaware, strong musical scene in Philly, and strong musical scene in Jersey. And they all kind of intermingle. Yeah, I've been all around my whole life. You know, I uh, my first picture in Thrasher is actually from Love Park in Philly. Uh, back in 1992 and now that's if you look at the picture you'll see it's actually before love park was waxed you know all the edges was still crispy right. and rest in peace love park one of the raddest spots right. in skateboard history uh and and part of my own personal story is i was a local there for for years before it really blew up and uh always and, always miss love park yeah always yeah i love it you know in uh at the seventh street uh skate park in wilmington we got two of the love blocks from no the shit yeah they're totally skatable right now that is fucking awesome yeah shout out to the dudes from kinetic uh Vern laird all the folks that made it happen shout out to adrenaline skate That's shop cool. Uh, shout out to Switch Skate Shop. Uh, these are all my homies going back to when I was a teenager, you know. So we still, we still do our thing. I've seen the pictures. 
I've seen the pictures of you skating like way back, man. Yeah, the one at Love Park, Some that's cool, where I got cool the, pictures. The, the Raiders cap, the Gilligan yep. hat, like yep. Chuck D. And uh, yeah, I was really throwing them down. Wearing my blind jeans and my Airwalk Fahrenheit. Yes. And that was the Ollie North yes. into the fountain, I believe. Yeah, one foot into yes. the fountain. How are your knees Ken holding Salerno. up? How are your knees holding up? My knees are fucking great. My yeah. back is strong. I, I broke good. my toe the day before yesterday, but I'm still skating. I still skated for yeah, an hour after I broke the toe. I mean, because the toe is like... Yeah. They're not going to put a cast on it. They might tape it. As long as it ain't crooked, you just yep. fucking roll with it. You, yeah. know? you got to press on through it. Yeah, it ain't nothing. Nothing mm-hmm. but a thing. It's only a flesh wound. That's yep. right. The it's past two years, wound. I broke my wrist, my toe, my ribs. Yeah, I mean, but those are all, you know, like you said, those are replaceable. things you play, you play through. Yeah, exactly. You know, you LeBron that shit. You got to stay up and keep moving. Yeah. All right, cool. So, uh. She's, what do you got going on this weekend? This Thursday, she's and friends at Theo's Tavern. Yeah, the come out back. before they shut us down. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to happen <laughs> soon. Support, support, support. Yeah, we can't do it if you don't want to, you know. Everyone's like, hey, what are you doing? I have followed her, Scooch. Yeah. There are people that know what I did yesterday because the, they read the flyers today. And then they, they, they hear about it yesterday. So they're my followers. They, they say, oh, I would have been there. No, you wouldn't, Ed. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, people, if you're listening, if you're hearing this, you're missing it yeah, on this Thursday night thing. Yeah, yeah. It's Mike, yeah. it's Gooch, it's, it's Dave Tepper, it's, it's, it's Earl Rains, and they're all bringing all the different things that they have yeah, together into one musical crazy. melting yeah. pot. And it's, I feel bad for people who don't experience it. Yeah, you should come out. You should come out if you want, gentlemen. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of everybody who's tuning in right now, I want y'all to know that the Tom Gorman Show is also going to be available on iTunes after the broadcast. You can Absolutely. go back and yes. listen. Burn a CD, pass it down to your children. Subscribe. I mean, we made history today, <laughs> yes, so this is something put it you don't in a time want to know. And all these motherfuckers in the chat room, I can tell they on my Facebook. Like I yeah. know these yeah. motherfuckers, yeah, they're so strong. I will let y'all know where you can get a hold of this uh, because I had a fucking blast. Yeah, definitely this past subscribe. Ninety minutes have been a blast. Definitely yeah. subscribe. Right on, right it's on. a baby making podcast. It's very good for the all well rounded <laughs> family. I just got pregnant myself. <laughs> there's there's yes. definitely something in the tap water here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now it's just you sitting in the chairs. <laughs> Also, Saturday is going to be Zogie Nation, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't want to spend a hundred dollars to see Hall of Notes in Philadelphia this weekend, come spend nothing and come get a Zogie. And he's going to have free hot dogs out there. I'm going to be spinning. We're probably going to get a couple people to play some Hall of Notes. Tears for fears. They she loves that. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be a good time at the Pennsville FOP, ladies and gentlemen, right near the Walmart. So that's what I'll be up to. Come the brown mark? Yes. Cool, cool. Man. But well, whatever you do, ladies and gentlemen, have yourself a safe Memorial Day. The man will be out for your safety. So make sure that you are have all your brake lights checked and your 710 fluid in your tr- in your car and your brake fluid and your blinker fluid and all and that your, stuff. And your Tic Tacs in your pocket. That's yeah. right. That's right. And learn the learn the the valuable question: Am I being detained? <laughs> <laughs> I don't answer questions. Yeah. <laughs> I don't answer questions. Just, Talk to the lawyer. Yeah. Just say that numerous times. Yep. And I don't they answer do. questions. <laughs> All righty, Oh, Joe. Mike, we forgot to do Turncoat Corner, bro. Oh, oh why not? Good. Why not? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we've been so positive today. Let's not ruin it with negative people. Exactly. Yeah. But we'll get to them sons of bitches in two weeks because we're not going to be here Memorial Day weekend. Instead, we're going to rerun either the Rich Scheidner and or the Artisan show. And then we're going to put a vote up and figure out who, uh, what show is going to be rerun. So, so, wait, are we at the end or we got time for another story? I, I need to know because I have. How we doing, DJ? Yeah, we're wrapping it up. We yeah, got to wrap it up. We got people coming in. It's been fun. Gentle Jones. It's been real. Give it up for Gentle, Gentle Jones. Jones. He'll come back. We'll bring him back. Howard we'll bring him back for more stories. Thank you so much. I love all of you. We'll bring you, you back for more stories. Yeah. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You, Every the, week. It's always an open door. You, you come here whenever you want. You don't even yeah. need to be invited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I'll be in here at 1 a.m. taking right. all this shit out of this motherfucking That's studio. Right. That's awesome. The Tom Corman Show, ladies and gentlemen, on Toxic Radio. And as every week, we'll have Jerry Garcia take us out. Thank you very much. Lay Peace. down, my dear brothers. Lay down and take your rest. I want to lay your head upon your Savior's breast. I love you, oh, but Jesus loves you the best. And I bet you good night, good night, good night. And I bet you good night, good night. Good night.
good night Lay down, my dear brothers Lay down and take your rest I want you to lay your head Upon your Savior's breast I love you, oh, but Jesus loved you the best And I bid you good night Good night, good night And I bid you good night Good night, good night And I bid you good night Good night Tell the F on the ark that wonderful repose Good night, good night Tell me for the beast to the ending of the bitch Good night, good night I want to eat all the children that would not the bitch Good night, good night I remember right well, I remember right well Good night, good night Walking in Jerusalem just like John. Good night. Good night. Good night. Lay down, my dear brothers. Lay down and take your rest. I want you to lay your head upon your Savior's breast. I love you. Oh, but Jesus loved you the best And I bid you good night Good night Good night And I bid you good night Good night Good night Ladies and gentlemen Have yourself a pleasant Memorial Day Be safe And learn the words Am I being detained? Thank you very much Tom Gorman Show, Toxic Radio See you later, alligator.